hey you guys i'm back again with another tutorial today i'm giving you guys a soft cut crease glam let me know what you guys think in the comment section you know like comment subscribe thank you so i'm gonna speed up my brows because you know don't really got time for all of that and if you guys want a tutorial on my brows just let me know in the comment section and i will most definitely give it to you guys today i'm gonna give you guys a no, kind of short video i don't know if you guys like the long ones or the short ones so let me know that as well so i can give you guys what you guys like so you guys already know from my last video regular beauty supply store pencil you know i'm going in with my beautifully bronze concealer to fleek them brows up and then lastly i'm going to go in with my milani brow tint to make sure them brows stay in place all day long So now I'm just going to conceal my face and my foundation routine, speeding that up too. If you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know in the comment section. Now for my eyes. Because I didn't do my highlight and stuff yet and I didn't want any fallout on my foundation. I went ahead and put some Sasha Buttercup underneath my eyes just to keep my foundation intact from any fallout from eyeshadow. So I'm going in and I'm concealing my eyes with Pro Conceal Color Pure Beige. So let me tell you I was having a little difficulty here because I went in with my NYX primer base first and I was doing my eyeshadow and it just wasn't coming out well so I started all over again. Now for underneath my brows for the highlight I'm going in with my Juvia's Place palette the Saharan and I'm using the color Senegai. Once I'm done with that I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and then I'm going to use the color Jamila from the same palette for my transition color. After I use Jamila, I'm going to go into my Morphe palette, the 350M, and I'm going to use the orange color that's inside of that. After I use the orange color in the Morphe palette, I'm going to go back into the Juvia's Place, but this time I'm going to use the Masquerade palette, and I'm going to go in with the burgundy color in here, and it is called Otter. And I'm just going to keep building up on the other color until I get it as dark as I want to. And I'm just going to fluff it out, fluff it out, blend, 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 blend. Y'all know what I do. I blend a lot. So just blend like crazy until you can't blend no more. You know it. Now that I'm done with all of that, I'm going to go in and start my cut crease. I'm also going to speed up my cut crease because you guys know that I, uh, I'm i still having a little difficulty with it. So I need my mirror to be up close and personal to my face. So to save you guys time from that, I'm going to speed that part up as well. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how I do my cut crease, you know, comment section. And guys, I'm so sorry about this mirror. Like, I I don't know. Like, I just need my mirror. But I'm going to work on that for you guys. Because I know it's a problem in my video. You can't really see what I'm doing. And especially in this video, the glare was horrible. And my lighting in this video, like, you're going to see it's going to change. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. So, for my cut crease, I'm just going to go in with the color pure beige. And I'm going to do my cut crease. And then the color I'm going to use for my lid 
is going to be from the Masquerade palette as well and that color is going to be Cario. So now I'm applying the Cario and then once I'm done applying Cario on my lid, I'm going to go in back in with my Morphe palette with a burgundy color and that's what I'm doing here. So I'm just putting it into the outer portion of my eyes and then I'm bringing it forward to kind of create a smoky, you know, look without the darkness because you guys know I told y'all I just always have to have some type of dark in my, my eye looks. I don't know. So for this color, this eye look, it was kind of bright. So I decided to, you know, tone it down a little bit with the burgundy and that's pretty much it. And now I'm going to do my eyeliner. Oh my gosh, you guys, today... I was on my P's and Q's with this eyeliner. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> it was sneaky. <laughs> y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. So now I'm just going to brush away the setting powder and then I'm going to start my highlight routine. I'm using the same color for my brows, Beautifully Bronze. You know, I like that nose, that chin, and that forehead. Do my little tree. And then you guys see I'm not using my Dollar Tree, my family Dollar Beauty Blender. I'm going in with the Urban, y'all know I don't know the name. Be blender and let me tell you it was bomb. It was bomb. It was bomb. And so I'm just gonna use a I'm gonna add a little bit extra highlight. I'm using the Pro Conceal Cool Tan just to give it a little extra pop. And I'm gonna set all of that with the Sasha Buttercup. After I set my highlight, I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques foundation first. And I'm going to use that to do my contour for my nose and my cheek. And I'm going to go in with my Juvia Taste palette, the Blush palette. And I'm going to use the color Abby. That's what I use for my contour, guys. This is my full tool brush. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm gonna brush away my highlight with my setting powder. But this one's more my color. That's gonna be my Mary Kay Bronze 5 powder. And I'm just gonna put it all over my face. And now for my blush, I'm gonna use the color. I believe I use the color Toby. It's a more orange color. I will, you know, I wasn't sure it was my show, but I really liked it. And that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays.